for another sneak preview. So I hope this is putting captions. That is one of the reasons to go live. And I can't see whether captions are happening. So I am going to trust that I have a default somewhere that's got captions going on. So um, let me give you a little taste of this next new song. I think I'm going to give you a taste of it, and yet I do not see it. One moment, please. Well, we are having slight difficulties. WTF. <laughs> oh, technology. Technology. How we have a crazy. you were able to get a little bit of that sample of the new song My Becoming off the album Soul Journey. And I wanted to, let me get my microphone back over here in a better spot. I wanted to talk a little bit about um, how that song came about, uh, where it came from. Let's make sure I'm getting a signal here. Yes, I am. Um, so one of the things they teach us in our training to be shamans is that each of us is all on a path to our becoming. And each one of us has a different set of skills and talents and gifts and possible destinies and possible outcomes in this life. And you know, one of our tasks and one of our challenges is to identify and go after the things that we are best suited to do, how we can best serve on you know, the collective, evolutionary journal journey so of course it's not quite that easy right um, even when you think you know what it is you're supposed to be doing in life there's always lessons along the way there's always setbacks along the way there's always there's always something that um, you know quite often gets us a little bit off track or a little wobbly and, um, you know, I think most of you who've been following me for a while know that in 2020, when the pandemic hit, I had a bit of an existential crisis. Um, and at that point, had the diagnoses of anxiety and depression. And um, coming out of that required 
acknowledging that those parts, those parts that have a tendency toward depression and anxiety, um, are there to be some sort of reminder, some sort of lesson, um, and that that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So even when you have your dark spots lurking in the corner of your reality, it's totally fine to just sort of see them there, you know. And the thing, you know, a lot of people talk about, oh, manifestation, it's so easy, blah, 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 blah. Um, what, what I am trying to get across in this song is that the formula may be simple, but the actual enactment of that formula it's a very delicate balance. So in this case, you know, the chorus of the song is I want to connect my actions and my thoughts. Um, because, you know, people say, oh, manifesting, you just, you know, think about it, focus on it, and it will happen. But that's not actually the case. And it's also not true that you set your goals and you go, 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 go. Because quite often, if we really, really, really want to tap into what is our highest potential and what is our highest good, we have to really walk a delicate balance between setting our intention, cultivating those thoughts that support that intention, taking some action, but not allowing our ego to get involved and dominate too much that we forget that half of the equation is allowing spirit to support us on our journey. And so to set your intentions and to have your actions support that, but to also allow for that flow of divine grace and divine energy and those kinds of spirits in our lives that can help us. You know, it's a very, 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 very delicate balance. And just to kind of share with you, um, some of the ways that that's been coming up in my life. This week has been, it just felt like it's been one sort of magical miracle after another, day after day after day. So uh, the other thing they teach us in our shaman training is when spirit calls, we answer. And that way, when we need spirit and we call on spirit, spirit answers us. So that means that when people come to you seeking whatever it is, counsel, advice, solace, comfort, support, help, whatever it is, um, that is spirit sending us that person and it, it is our obligation to do whatever is within our capacities to help. So um, this past week a friend of mine asked a favor and I was very happy to do it because it's a very dear friend and I want to help my friends. And um, you know the favor I guess in some ways was kind of a big favor um, and yet I didn't think twice about it. And in the last few days, there have been so many things that have aligned that it's, it's impossible to, to ignore that there are all these serendipitous things. So it's, it's like I'm seeing a very direct correlation between someone came and asked me for assistance and now X, Y, and Z just sort of started falling into place. So... Um, I don't know that I want to go into specific examples because sometimes a little too much personal detail is a little too much for folks, but I just want to share that um, walking that line and dancing that dance can feel like magic every day, and yet it's simple. It's not necessarily easy. So I hope you are excited for the album as much as I am. Um, My Becoming was a song that also um, gave me some reflection after one of my um, ceremonies with Ayahuasca last year. I think, I don't remember specifically, but I think I wrote this one right after I had my third Ayahuasca ceremony where I really had to face the death of my ego. My ego has, was hanging on. It was hanging on for dear life. And in that particular ceremony, I really finally was able to sort of kill it off, kill off the ego. Now, you know, an ego often gets resurrected, and it's a journey, and it's a dance, and it's a process to really, you know, set that ego to side. Because um, sometimes the ego can help us take action when we need to take action. Sometimes the ego can help us with that confidence, but we need to always make sure that we are not allowing it to dominate our thoughts. So I hope all of you are working towards aligning your thoughts and your actions and also allowing for flow and grace and beauty and joy every single day of your lives. So March 21st, spring equinox or autumnal equinox if you're here in the Southern Hemisphere. 
um, the release of Soul Journeying. It'll be on Spotify and all of the, whatever your channels are for, for streaming and purchasing music will be there. So look forward to it. Cheers. <laughs>